Thank you. Everybody have a seat, have a seat. Welcome to the White House, everybody. Let's give it up for the World Series champions, the Kansas City Royals. We've got general manager Dayton Moore here. Uh, and, and let's face it, it, it's been a long road for Royals fans. There were some dark years, some tough decades. <laughs> but that started to change when Dayton came to town in, in uh, 2006. He coupled some of baseball's sharpest analytics minds with Ned's managerial style, which has produced a lot of wins. Tell me who you are and tell me what we're doing here today. Dayton Moore, general manager of the Kansas City Royals, and just honored to be a part uh, of the Valley League Baseball All-Star Game and uh, you know, be a part of the Hall of Fame induction. I mean, is it fair to say you got your start in the Valley League? Well, the, the Valley was an important building block for me. You know, I, I grew up in the game, obviously. Uh, I wanted to coach. I was an assistant at George Mason University, but uh, felt that it was important to, to coach and manage you know, as many games as possible. The Valley League is a, a very historic league. It's a very competitive league. It's a league where a lot of top collegiate players around the country go to play. And uh, I was fortunate to be in Winchester to continue, uh, you know, my, my coaching aspirations. Uh, Winchester is an unbelievable town, uh, city, uh, where the community has been so supportive of the Winchester Royals. And it was really, in my mind, at the time, when I was doing this, uh, one of the most you know, prestigious places to play because of the great environment in the community. So it's not just the players that make it to the majors, it's also the coaches. Well, it's, it's a building block for everybody. Umpires, coaches, uh, staff, administrators, of course, players. I mean, the, the league exists obviously for players. And um, you know, that's, that's the number one goal of all of this. You want to play as long as you can. And, and I certainly, that was my goal. That was my dream. And when my baseball career was over at George Mason University, the next best thing for me was to coach. And, and then again, the Valley League provided me an unbelievable opportunity to continue you know, my, my dream in baseball. Let's look at it from the other perspective. What does this league mean to Major League Baseball? Well, anytime you have opportunities for players to play, it's, it's very, very important. And, uh, you know, there's so many leagues out there now in Major League Baseball and the communities across the country, the NCAA, everybody's got involved to make sure that there's great opportunities for players to play. The only way to improve in our game is to continue to play as much as possible. And without the summer collegiate leagues, that opportunity simply would not exist for so many players. So it's very crucial to a player's development. I'm curious, you're looking back at this past year uh, as a world champion. Kansas City Royals. So I'm curious, is there anything you took from your experience in the Valley League that you might have used in the championship? Well, championship? Of, of, of course. I mean, er, every experience that you have in this game, used properly, put in the right perspective, is always preparing you, you know, for you know your future. And uh, to get an opportunity to lead on the field at a very young age certainly helped me, gave me a lot of confidence. I was fortunate to be around a, a lot of terrific people that poured into me, and but certainly the opportunity in Winchester, you know, gave me an opportunity to, to get better and springboard my career and to do other things. Well, my name is Gene Kearns. I'm an area scout for the Atlanta Braves, and I've been scouting the Valley League since 1973. If you're a college player and you're playing in this league, what does this league mean to you? Well, I think basically what it would mean, I can't tell you what it means to the players. I can only tell you what I think it means. First of all, I think it means a great opportunity to play ball in the summer. You know, if you look back over the way our country has developed, uh, summer pro baseball is kind of going out the way. It, it's so expensive anymore to sponsor a team, and you don't, just don't see that in the cities. I'll give you an example. The city of Baltimore used to run a rec league every night. They had anywhere from 10 to 20 teams in each league every night of the week. There's none anywhere. Not a, not a league at all in Baltimore. It's the same all the way across, the Cal Griffin League in D.C. and so forth. So if these college boys didn't have a place to play in college sponsored leagues by Major League Baseball, I don't know where they would play. And the second thing I would say, it gives them an opportunity to perform in front of scouts that will follow them in their 
ensuing year at college and maybe give them an opportunity to enter professional baseball. Have you discovered anybody in this league? I discovered Brandon Beachy in this league in 208 in the ninth inning of a game in Woodstock, Virginia. And Brandon signed the next day for me and went on and within a year and a half he was in the big leagues. Take me back to that 2008 when you found this player. What did that mean to him? I mean, he's, he called the next day. Were you there when he got the call? How are you? Or how, how would you describe it? What's the emotional, what's his... Well, he came, in, he came in in the relief in the ninth inning of a game in Woodstock, and I'm sitting there and really uh, not much happening, and he started warming up, and I said, wow, I better put the gun on this guy. And uh, he was throwing in the low 90s, uh, up to 93, 94. But what turned me on was he had a devastating curveball. And come to find out, he was a reliever at Indiana Wesleyan and a third baseman. And he went undrafted in his junior year. It was just a situation where the scouts had missed him. And uh, uh, I went over to him and asked him if he had ever been drafted, because if he had been drafted, I couldn't have talked to him. And he said no. And I said, are you interested in professional baseball? And he said, you better believe it. That's what he said to me. And I said, well, we called the scouting director and uh, I talked to the coach and the next night he threw him an inning for me. I saw him two innings and the next next day I had him on the way to Danville, Virginia under a Braves contract. And he pitched there, this, this was the end of July, he pitched there for a couple weeks in August and the season was over. He went back to school, he was a pre-law student. And then the next year, they assigned him to Rome in the South Atlantic League, and he ended up with uh, Myrtle Beach in the Carolina League. The next year, he went to Mississippi, and he went through that league like Sherman went through it, Georgia. And uh, by the end of the year, he was in the big leagues. So around the seventh game, I got the call. Well, first, I actually got a text from a couple of friends saying congrats, you know, and. And I didn't really know what it was about, and I looked on the you know draft tracker, and I saw that my name was called, and and they gave me a call afterwards. It was a pretty cool experience. I was actually sitting next to him in the locker room, and all of a sudden I got water thrown on me, and I'm I you know jerk my shoulder over, and they're picking him up, and he's all jumping around, and it's just it was a great experience, and very happy for him. We've had probably uh, 30, 30 or so that's made it to the major leagues. Uh, uh, right now we have uh, three three up: uh, Corey Spanienberg with the uh, San Diego, Tyler Thornburg with uh, Milwaukee, and uh, Josh Edgen with the, with the Mets. You're seeing some of the top baseball prospects in the country coming to Winchester, Virginia. Da, 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 da. You know, we got kids coming from major SEC, ACC programs yeah, coming here, and a lot of these guys are going to have a, a good chance at playing professional baseball. As a little kid growing up, you know, your, your biggest dream is to be drafted to a professional baseball team, um, and it's a dream come true, really. Let's give it up for the World Series champions, the Kansas City Royals.